Um, I want to talk a little bit about stuff that I've heard that's going off in France because Europe continues its death by a thousand cuts at the hands of liberal progressive governments that are ideologically blind to what Islamization means. And I want to start off by talking about the attack on freedom of speech. There's been another murder, another stabbing in France connected to the Charlie Hebdo um, cartoons. The reason why Islamists are using violence against liberal democracies is because they hope to take by terror that which our ancestors fought for by blood. The rights that we have in the Magna Carta were won for us because people stood up to the king. The rights that we have in the West have been built out of and fought for by blood. Now it's fair to say that liberal democracy is not inherent to Christianity. And so I am not equating liberal democracy or liberal freedoms with the Christian faith. Because the Christian faith has existed in other kinds of states, in other kinds of socio-economic and political uh, systems. However, right now, because the church has lost any political vision for society, there are two dominant political visions. One is a liberal progressive vision, and the other is that being offered by Islamists of a caliphate. And the Islamists are enraged by freedom of speech because freedom of speech permits us to say things that Muslims find offensive. And so we see that instead of engaging in the democratic process, a minority of Muslims are engaged in terror, are engaged in brute force. But that emergence of terror from brute force comes out of a milieu that is actually much more rooted in the wider Islamic community. Something that has been testified to by members of the Dawah team, by Ali Dawah, who says that freedom of speech is bullshit. By Mohammed Hijab, who stands against the idea of freedom of speech. Which means that within the Islamic community, nascent to its own culture, is an opposition to the things that our grandfathers and our great-grandfathers fought for in World War I and World War II. Islam and liberal progressive political thought are not compatible. And we have seen that to it recently in France with yet another attack because of the Charlie Hebdo magazine. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what is the problem? The problem is that our liberal governments, the liberal establishment, the Conservative Party, the Labour Party, the Liberal Democrat Party, their equivalents in France, their equivalents in America, both the Democrats and the Republicans, have bought into a political ideology that assumes a priori against all the evidence that multiculturalism is the way that we should govern our society. That multiculturalism, liberal multiculturalism, is effective and works. In other words, the state is saying that it has no stake in the values that we live by. They're all open for free and fair competition. Now, we Christians have a model of multiculturalism that we have practiced for 2,000 years successfully that has brought nations together from different ethnicities, languages and cultures and have brought them together within the body of the church. 
So we Christians do not need any lectures about what it means to be multicultural. But we can give lectures about what it means to be multicultural. And the fact of the matter is, liberal progressive multiculturalism is not working. Because liberal progressive multiculturalism cannot call a spade a spade. Liberals feel very comfortable in standing up against fascist Nazi ideology. They're very able to be enraged at the swastika or about glorifications of Hitler or Goebbels. But these same liberal progressives are silent about the deaths of a hundred million people at the hands of communism. It is quite acceptable to walk down the streets of any Western society carrying the sickle and hammer red flag. It is quite acceptable in Western society to wear t-shirts glorifying murderers like Che Guevara. It is quite acceptable to celebrate the revolutionary murder of people like Fidel Castro. The fact of the matter is, communism is the blind spot of liberal society. And because of that blind spot, those same liberal progressives are unable to see the influence of communist thought on the political mainstream. Po communist thought has sought to increase the divisions in Western society. It's why communists are in bed with identitarians. It's why they support movements that increase racial tension like the BLM. Communists support the idea of unfiltered, unqualified mass immigration. Mass immigration of people that do not simply put down their values at the border and pick up nice classical liberal values as they pick up their British passport. They don't do that. What they do is they import the values of their indigenous culture into Europe as they have done in France. France 24 is a liberal mainstream media platform. It isn't a right-wing platform. It isn't a Nazi platform. It isn't a platform of the National Front. But recently on France 24, they have covered that in the suburbs of Paris, the disappearance of women from the high street. And they have attached to reporters cameras and microphones showing the harassment of women by Muslim men in the suburbs of Paris, leading to the excavation, the elimination of the female form of womanhood from the high streets and the suburbs of Paris. Why? Because as it was caught on camera, when two women reporters for France 24 walked into a Muslim cafe, the cafe owner encouraged them to leave. The other occupants of the cafe began to harass them and they were told that they were not welcome. Muslim men themselves in another cafe, rather than sit in a cafe where women were sat, chose instead to leave. Why? Because the Muslims that have mainly come from North Africa, Arabized Africans, have imported Islamic values into Western Europe. And so women have been the victim of the blindness of the liberal progressives who for the sake of their virtue signaling hypocrisy, who talk about wanting to defend women's rights, are willing to be blind to the fact that Islam teaches that women in public wearing nothing less than a tent are an abuse to the moral good. They are causing fitna 
in the land that a man is the owner of a woman, that he is the guardian of a woman, that he is the protector of a woman, and so it is scandalous for women to be walking around in those areas where Muslim migration has meant that Muslim values, Islamic values, are the dominant ideology. Islam teaches that the witness of a woman is half that of a man in legal proceedings. Have you ever heard such rubbish? Muhammad said in the hadiths that women are deficient in their religion on account of their deficiency of intellect. Muhammad said in the hadiths that the majority of occupants in hell are women. By contrast, Christianity teaches that both men and women are made in the image of God simultaneously. And the attributes that are true to men are also true to women. And that is the reason why, as far back as the medieval period, the freedoms of Christian women were considered scandalous to the critics of Christian civilization because women were said to be endowed with reason equal to that of men. The Christian faith teaches the equality of men and women, but the evidence demonstrates that in Islamic societies, women end up being treated differently in law. That is a fact. If you don't believe me, dress like that in Saudi Arabia and see what happens to you. In Saudi Arabia, dress is prescribed in law. If you don't believe me, go to Iran, become an Iranian citizen and dress like that. You will be said to be un-Islamic in your dress. If you don't believe me, go to Afghanistan and dress like that and see how you are treated. The fact of the matter is that Islam teaches values that are incompatible to Western values because Western values are rooted, are rooted in Judeo-Christian values. But the difference, sister, is that the law is stating that men and women should both wear masks. But in Islamic cultures, only women are asked to cover their face. These are not morally equivalent. Ladies and gentlemen, we are suffering the death of a thousand cuts in Western Europe because of the weakness of liberal progressives who do not and are not able to call a tyrannical ideology tyrannical. Islam teaches that Jews and Christians, that their very lives are worth half that of Muslims in law. Islam teaches that Christians cannot marry Muslim men, but Muslim men can marry Christian women. Islam teaches that Christians cannot carry out their processions in an Islamic state. Islam teaches that Christians cannot portray their crosses on their churches or the churches that are higher than most. And the liberals will not call it out. Why? Nakedness. Because liberals have bought into the idea Women that are used for the market. Peace is They're the highest the value and that any cost is worth paying for the price of peace. And, and that is why society. they say that Women pointing out these truths is causing yeah, division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are right. Pointing out these truths does cause division. But Jesus said, I have not come but to cause a man and a father and a son and a daughter to be divided upon the truth.
Christ has said that I have come to bring religion, division in to the world. In every religion, that's because right. the yeah, truth right. divides. And so we must speak the truth, no. you know, even if the that truth is unwelcome, even if the truth causes division, even if the truth causes conflict, we must speak the truth. If I criticize Nazism, okay. No one if you're calls fat, me if you're fat, fat, if you're fat, if I criticize the Jewish communism, Jewish no one calls me Jewish a commie for no one. Why if can't I you talk about the Jewish no one calls me a Hindu code. He would criticize Mr. Brown. Islam. I am called an Islamophobe. How is it? You are ignorant. Into this ideological blindness. You are ignorant. You think you know it all. But you don't know it. You think you know everything. You are a leader. You are a leader. You I am telling you that Islam teaches the same things as Judeo Christianity. It does not teach the same doctrine. It does not teach the same values. It does not teach the same beliefs. Another example that, 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 of the, the, the English and the French they were they were the liberals. <laughs> they have justified. Yes, that, they have justified we are still under the Christian we are still, still, still under the Christian till today you know? the Hexton is not the Christian they are running out of the Jewish religion in the Bible if you go back to history in this country we sell the t-shirts not of anti-Christian but eBay will not sell products in the Bible, women were not as allowed to raise their voices. So it's okay to sell products offensive to Christians, but it is not okay Christian Orthodox to sell products to an offense Muslim. Don't tell lies, don't tell lies. The liberals are not bad at Jews. Talk about the Jews. The Jews, the Jews that were victims. Christ. The Christians, they slaughtered the Jews. Exactly. They killed them. Yeah. The Jerry Springer <laughs> Opera. Yeah. Who yeah. the Jews? Yeah. The Christians. But these the same networks will not broadcast in the Jews. Yeah. They are not yeah. the Jews. The Jews. The Jews. Why? And the Why? 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 Because. The yeah. liberals the are hypocrites. Been expelled to North Africa. You are an ignorant. You are fanatic. You are fanatic. Don't let them you are, you are dash you Christian. Dash. Be silent and dash. about the horrors yeah. of Islamic <laughs> teaching. Stand up for a Judeo-Christian civilization. One world. We can't live in one world. We must be a Christian. We live in one world. The idea that the Jews are Christian civilization. The Jews are the Jews. Wake up, Europe. The Jews call out the hypocrites. Stand up for the truth. Stand up. 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 Stand up.
as documented by France 24, not the BNP, is the fact that women are being pushed out of the high street of the suburbs of France. Don't believe me? Get out your phones, YouTube me right now. You can find the reports on France 24. You'll see fake news. Is that fake news, Bob? French governments are sick. They say yeah, fake news, no Bob. Uh, uh, furthermore, uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. the French monsieur and now, Bob. there is a reason, there is a reason why Christians, yeah. one second, ladies and gentlemen, Christians allowed women to the highest seats of authority in our societies. Catherine the Great was the empress of a Christian Orthodox state. There are multiple, multiple women who have been leaders of Christian states. Elizabeth I was a woman who was the head of a Christian state. I challenge any Muslim okay. to tell me the name of a single woman caliph. Ah, the name of a single woman caliph. A single woman caliph. That's a good question, Bob. Who knows it? There has never been a woman caliph. But there have been multiple Christian leaders of Christian kingdom. Bob, has there been a woman pope? He's asking. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Bob. Christians have permitted women to hold the highest offices of state because Judeo-Christian values established that women are made equal to men, equal to men of domestic in their violence, dignity the white and the European attribute. society. But there has never Carry been on. a woman coming. Never. Why, Bob? Because Islam teaches that women are deficient in has already one of the highest rates of domestic violence in Europe every year. An estimated of 219 women a he talks about domestic abuse. I don't the Quran commands men to beat women. I to strike them. That's what it says in the Quran. But with a toothbrush. If you suspect your women of disobedience, first admonish them, second, banish them from your bed. Thirdly, strike them is what the Quran prescribes. He's talking about domestic abuse. Ah, okay. I'm the shelters, the women's shelters of the United Kingdom are full of Muslim women. Wow. They are full of Muslim women in abusive relationships. There is no verse in the Bible that says that a man should beat his woman because of disobedience. No way, no way. One woman is killed by a partner. What the Bible teaches is that men should submit to their women and women should submit to their men. That men should honor women, their wives, and their wives should honor their husbands. The government should There is a difference between building your civilization on Judeo Christian values and building your civilization on Islam. One French woman in eight has been raped. About four million of French women were raped. He's talking in about rape. Of course, there is a rape epidemic going on in Sweden right now, and the vast majority of the culprits are Muslim migrants. But he doesn't tell you that.
It's not true. Sexual abuse. Sexual abuse. They're white people. The Germans have to institute lessons in Germany. I carry on. I carry on. I carry on. I carry on. About four million French women who have been children have been raped at least once in their lives. Women in Germany have been told to cover up our own mosques in Germany. 60% the German state is weak. 50% your liberal state is weak. You need better ideology than liberalism. Justice. And that better ideology touching with is consent muscular Christianity. 30% pornography and SMS is what the West needs. Of Raping not ethno-nationalism, not civic nationalism, According to not conservatism. We need to return to our Judeo-Christian roots and build our civilization upon what our ancestors built their civilization upon. 600 suicides in France every year, according so, to the Agence France Presse. Rape! Violence! Are you excusing? Poverty. Are you excusing that the Quran says to beat your women? No, it doesn't say. It doesn't say that. He says that the Quran says it doesn't say strike your women. So now let's just give you figures. His lies. I gave you figures. Let's expose you his lies. I gave you figures. The Quran teaches. Oh, he's walking away now. Notice, he's walking away now. If you want to be fair, you have to uh, find out and no, he's out. You need to find out about your Christian religion. Try to analyze it. Don't talk about religion. So Surah 4, 34. This brother just lied. Of course, Surah 4, verse 34. Is in there, Bob. But everywhere, everywhere, the, the white supremacy, enough is enough. It comes always from the white. We are white. We dictate you everything. You are so, done. They brought the Bible to the Africans and they took the lands of the Bible. Take the land. Yeah. Yeah. This is what it says from the Quran. If you fear a breach between them, twain, arbiters. Sorry, let me just go to another. It's not that passage. I defeated you now. No, you haven't. Let's just look at it. Surah 4, 34. Men are the protectors and maintainers of women. So it's established men as being above women, unlike in the Christian faith that says men and women are equal in honor. Because Allah has made one of them to excel the other. Did you hear that? Your man excels you, according to the Quran. To excel the other, and because they spend from their means, therefore the righteous women are devoutly obedient and guard in the husband's absence what Allah orders, orders them to guard. As to those women on whose part you see ill conduct, admonish them, refuse to share their beds, beat them is what the Quran says. So men are made to excel women, are made to protect and maintain women, and then are to admonish, abstain from the bed, and beat women. By contrast, the Bible teaches that a husband should honor his wife and his wife should honor her husband. There's no comparable verse in the Bible. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, that all the way through medieval Europe, you saw women holding the highest offices of state. Why women were able to walk in public and why in France in the 21st century Women are disappearing from the suburbs of Paris.